Hey guys, this is George from The Roman Show here at the Florida Supercon, and I am here with one of the original actresses from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, of course, I'm talking... <laughs> no, I'm actually looking at him too. That's a tall guy. I'm talk t talking to Judith Hogue here. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. It's uh, a fabulously crowded day, and... The cosplay so far has been really exceptional. There's a lot of people on stilts today, and that to me is always <laughs> thrilling. I don't know how they negotiate this many people with on a pair of stilts. It's amazing to me. Well, speaking about Florida Supercon, I actually see maybe there are others, but I see that actually 10% of all your sales are going to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and that's, uh, that's amazing. How, what's your relationship with the Make-A-Wish Foundation? Do you know what? I did a film with them um, that, uh, okay, so I worked on a, sh a movie called um, The Wish Wizard. And what it was, it was with Gary Marshall, and it was fulfilling three different kids make a wish. One kid wanted to be a producer, one kid wanted to be a director, and one kid wanted to be a writer. And so all of us got involved and created this wish. I was invited to join. I didn't really do much of the creation part. But it's something that I feel very strongly about. So I've put it into my Comic-Con. So 10% of everything goes straight to them. And it is for me, it's the most fun check to write because I've had Make-A-Wish kids come up to the table who are, who are alive and thriving and say, I was a Make-A-Wish kid. And it just, children, I mean. No, yeah. It, it, what do to help the kids, I'm in. I'm all in. And that's amazing. You've always been very like a person with a golden heart, and we all appreciate you for that as fans. You know. And speaking about films, uh, before we talk about uh, two other questions, uh, let me just plug this. Uh, can people catch that uh, Wish uh, movie on Netflix or? I don't know where it is because it's a it's a short. I mean, they did it as a project for Make a Wish, but it's out there somewhere. I actually I haven't actually seen it. Okay. Um, but uh, it's out there. I, I don't know exactly where you'd find it, but I'm sure if you Google it, I should Google it myself. Um, I, there's so many things I've done I've never seen. I'm one of those actors who's not necessarily needs to watch their own work. Oh, nice. Well, you know, make sure you catch that movie for the Make-A-Wish Foundation with her. Now, speaking of uh, which, with films, of course, we all know you from the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We have to know, what's your take on the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, with the new April O'Neil and all? Well, I have to say, I love that the franchise is alive and well. I think it's doing great in um, Michael Bay's hands. I love Megan Fox. I had the opportunity to work with her. I think that she is... Um, a great human being, a wonderful woman. I love hanging out with her. And um, the fact that the franchise is still alive, you know, people got in touch with me at first and they're like, oh my God, they're, Michael Bay is doing it and Megan Fox is in it. I'm like, what's not great about that? <laughs> you know, it's like, we've seen so many incarnations of Superman, Batman, Spider-Man. You know, it's like, why not? Keep it alive and have a new um, vision of what it looks like. So I think it's great. And I agree with that. And my last question would be, before you get to meet all your great fans here, my last question is, you know, I don't know how the audition works in Hollywood, but I would imagine when you go into audition and you say, yes, I'm doing my part, all of a sudden you're told, hey, you're going to be sharing a role with four turtles, with four humanized turtles. How did you feel about that when you saw these guys in these suits? I'm pretty sure you were like, uh, what? Actually, you know, it was funny. I read the script and I wasn't sure at all because I, I didn't, I never had seen what the costume design, what the animatronics were going to look like. So it was a little like, I'm not sure what I'm up for, but the story was so wonderful and compelling. And I thought, I can do that. And then when I got there, first of all, as soon as I found out that it was Jim Henson's Creature Shop, I was all in. <laughs> and then once I saw what they had come up with, it was thrilling. It was easy. It was fun. I mean, that they were... You know, we look back and it definitely the technology has changed, but at the time it was absolutely cutting edge technology and it was so much fun. So I was good. Did you have a favorite turtle? All of them. <laughs> uh, uh, well, well, you are April O'Neil. Exactly. I love them all. It's like picking which child you love the best. You can't. Uh, you still have a relationship with Splinter 2? 
I wish I did. I love Kevin Clash, who played Splinter. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm all good with all of them. Awesome. Hey, thank you so very much for your time here. And and my hat tips off to you again with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Thank you very much for what you do. My pleasure.